Nearly three weeks since the general election, some voting sites are about to open their doors again. Early voting starts tomorrow for runoff elections. 5 News reporter Morgan Wrigley has what you need to know if there's a runoff in your city. There are quite a few races still to be decided, and election officials across our area are encouraging people in those cities to get out and vote, saying it should be a faster process than in the general election. In Fayetteville, a big race is the mayoral runoff between incumbent Mayor Lionel Jordan and experienced Fayetteville CEO Molly Ron. Other races heading to runoffs. In Washington County, Fayetteville and Prairie Grove have city council seats up for grabs. In Benton County, there are city council runoffs in Bella Vista, Pea Ridge, Rogers, and Salem Springs. In in Sebastian County, a Fort Smith city director position, and in Lavaca, an alderman position is on the table. Kim Dennison, Benton County election coordinator, tells us usually not many people come out to vote in a runoff. We might be lucky to see two or three percent uh, total turnout for this election. Um, people either don't realize that it's happening or um, they're just not tuned in to their local government races as much as they are the presidential race that's very well known. So uh, we normally don't see a huge turnout for a runoff election at all. The good news is if you live in one of the cities with a runoff and you choose to vote this week, she says they'll be able to get you processed and through the line quickly. Early voting for most cities will be Tuesday and Wednesday, close Thanksgiving Day, then continued Friday and Monday, and of course next Tuesday is Election Day. Make sure to check with your county clerk's office before you head to the polls to see which polling sites are open where you live, as options will be more limited than in the general election. Morgan Wrigley, 5 News.